Well, the Minnesota Wild are looking for redemption after a tough game one loss to the St. Louis Blues in the playoffs. With the game at home, plenty of excitement heading into tonight's matchup. Our Mary McGuire is live from inside XL Energy Center. Mary, there's a lot of fun happening for fans before the puck drops tonight. There is. The pregame party is still on as of right now. It was canceled Wednesday because of the rain. And check out what I have here. This is a rally towel from the Minnesota Wild. This is what is going to be on fans' seats tonight. I'm here with Wayne Peterson with the Minnesota Wild. It says we are committed. What does that mean to the team? Well, this is something that we took from the team. The team this year had T-shirts made that says, I am committed. And so we talked to them and said, hey, we like that. We'd like to use that for our playoff theme. And they said, go ahead. So we changed it to we are committed, being we, the hockey fans. So these will be placed on everybody's seats tonight. In about uh, a couple hours, they'll have about 40 volunteers from Horseman Elementary come and uh, put these uh, towels on 19,500 seats. So it's going to be uh, be a lot of a white in the building when people arrive tonight. I know. It was so cool. I saw the images of uh, the state of hockey before yep. the game on Wednesday, and I kind of got goosebumps. Uh, it just was a really unifying message because, after all, it's not the city of hockey. No. It is the state of hockey. If fans want to come out, there are tickets still available tonight. Well, tickets will likely be released later today, just like there were tickets released on Wednesday. And the best way people can go about getting tickets is go to wild.com slash game day ticks and they can sign up for text notifications when tickets get released. We're required by the NHL to hold back tickets for both teams and other national partners. They don't always get used, so then we put them to sell to the public. If you sign up for a text alert, you'll get a text message on your phone, and then tickets are just a click away, so it's that easy. And if for some reason fans can't get tickets, the pregame party is still on. The pregame party is still on right now. Maybe Matt can confirm the, uh, the forecast, but I'm hearing that the percent chance of rain now is less than it was last night. So we're going to uh, make a decision later today, and if we do cancel, we'll move some of the uh, elements like the NHL autographs indoors by gate four. But uh, I would stay tuned to wild.com or check us out on Twitter and we'll post any updates there. Well, we really hope that, that, uh, that the weather does hold out because those uh, parties before the games are so much fun. And perhaps fans can just take their rally towel and, you know, use it as a little rain shield, perhaps, if there is uh, oh, yeah. a little sprinkles out there tonight. Why not? Why not? It's just, it's so fun. It's April, but it still feels like January in hockey season inside uh, the XL Energy Center right now. Well, and if we keep going in the playoffs, I believe we'll be playing through August because that's about how long the NHL playoffs last, right, Mary? Flip flops and uh, hockey. Correct. Yeah, you can't really get goes. better than that. Well, we want to see a win tonight. <laughs> it should be a lot of fun. Thanks, Wayne. Thanks, Mary. Minnesota Wild and the St. Louis Blues face off again tonight on the ice at XL Energy Center. Minnesota is looking to even up the series at one game apiece before heading to St. Louis. Mary McGuire is live at the XL Energy Center this morning before the big game. Mary, even if fans don't have a ticket tonight, they can still take part in the excitement. They are. They can. And uh, after all, we do live in the state of hockey. So, of course, a lot of fans will be tuning in uh, to the game if they're not here in person, then perhaps uh, on the television screen. I'm here again with Adam Johnson of Visit St. Paul, and you were telling me about shuttles so folks don't have to drive their cars uh, into downtown necessarily to uh, party down here. Sure, a lot of the bars in St. Paul will run shuttles, uh, some off the top of my head, uh, O'Gara's, Bennett's, some that are just kind of on the outskirts. You can park there. We encourage you to eat there and drink there. Don't just park there and get on their shuttle. In fact, I don't think they'll let you do that. But Go there, get a ride into downtown. You know, after the game, they'll pick you up, bring you back to the restaurant. Hopefully, you go back and have some celebratory drinks and maybe some more food, and everybody wins. And talk again about the impact that the Stanley Cup playoffs have on the city of St. Paul. Sure. It obviously grows by the round, but uh, our friends in Pittsburgh did some research uh, last year, and it's about $3 bucks a game uh, in the first round. So that's everything from restaurants to the tickets to the hotels to cab fare from the airport for some of those St. Louis fans. Um, so all of that comes together to be about a $3 million economic impact per game. Very nice. And uh, you're not only wearing your Minnesota Wild Pride, but this morning you're also consuming uh, some hockey pride. Show us show us these donuts from Mojo. you got to eat, sleep, and breathe wild during the playoffs. So we've got W Wild uh, Donuts from Mojo Monkey. Um, we've done these the last three years. Mojo's a great partner of ours. They step up and do fun donuts related to the wild. So these will be on sale all day today at Mojo Monkey on West 7th, about two miles from the XL. Um, I wouldn't wait until right before game time. They might be sold out, but... We probably should taste them, huh? You think they're... Does it taste like victory? Mmm. Tastes like St. Louis getting their butts kicked tonight is what it tastes like, honestly. It should be. 
I don't know what that tastes like, but it's uh, pretty good. And I have to, I just have to mention these shoes. Check these out. You know, I wanted to get a logo put on there, but they they couldn't do a logo. So we're just we're wearing wild red from from head to toe today. And if you can't wear hockey skates, I mean, you might as well wear those. Those are so uh, cool in the Minnesota Wild Red. Again, the puck drops at 7 o'clock tonight. A lot of fun happening for fans. If you can't make it inside the XL Energy Center tonight, a lot going on outside to enjoy the game and cheer on the wild. All right, Mary, thank you. You know, the slogan is our... Uh are you committed? Mm -hmm. Is Adam, if Adam were really committed, he would eat that entire donut right now on we TV. We already the saw him thing. eat one during our. He five just took one hour. bite. That was kind of a cowardly effort, I thought. Maybe he didn't really like the yeah. way. I'm it, told he's it already tasted. left. He's already left. St. Louis getting their butts kicked. Sad. Maybe it doesn't Sad. taste that great. It is East.